Carlos mentioned, we've heard. Let's take a quick look at the weather over here for 2014. Next three months, it will be cold and snow. <laughs> Some of you are excited about that prospect. I've noticed others are not. They're thinking, already? I can't wait for summer to get back here. So regardless of which other spectrum you happen to land on, it's always worth planning a great getaway to capture that perfect time of year for you. So today, you are all in luck. We have an expert on one of the nation's hidden gems. Anna Muni will be presenting Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Four Seasons, Four Reasons to Visit. Based on her 33 years of experience as native Uper, she'll be sharing why you should make the trip north to the UP. So all the way from Houghton, Michigan, spared no expense, please welcome Anna Muni. Thank you, everyone. I'm first going to start out by saying that I did actually have this topic planned before the word of the day was blizzard and before the topic of the meeting was snow business. So it may seem like I cheated with my topic, but I promise you I did not, and this has been in place for quite a while. I hear several generalities when it comes to visiting the UP. The first is the generality about seasons. Usually you'll hear when referred to the UP that there are four seasons, and those are early winter, midwinter, late winter, and next winter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dispel that generality today. The second generality I tend to hear when talking with people who have visited the UP or are communicating to others why they should visit the UP is very generic terms. Well, it's beautiful up there. It's, it's different. You have to see it to believe it. Well, as a native Uper and a resident subject matter expert, I am going to specifically state to you four seasons in the UP, four activities to do in the UP for each season, and four specific locations. So I want to dispel those generalities and specifically talk about four seasons, four activities, and four locations. So in the theme of our meeting today, snow business, and the theme of Yes, the fact that winters in the UP are extremely long and potentially harsh, I will start with winter. Our specific season, winter, has a lot of specific activities, but I'm going to focus on skiing, and I'm going to focus on one specific location, and that is the Porcupine Mountains outside of Ontonaga, Michigan. Now this ski hill is not the biggest in the Upper Peninsula, it's not the fastest, it's not the longest. But the reason I will say that you should go skiing at the Porcupine Mountains in the Upper Peninsula is because of the fact that it sits right on Lake Superior and the panoramic views you get from the top of the hill. Cross country skiing or downhill skiing, regardless, you take the same chairlift and you have the same opportunity to view the entire expanse of Lake Superior from that, from that location. And this I have seen personally everything from waves crashing over icebergs, which is a pretty cool experience, let me tell you, to actually seeing all of Lake Superior frozen over in the fall of, or I'm sorry, in the winter of 99 when actually the entire lake froze over, which has only happened once, I believe, every 55 years. So that's winter. Moving into our second season, our second season is spring, and I trust me, there is a season in there is a spring in the Upper Peninsula, I promise you. Yes, it does happen after spring everywhere else in Michigan. For that season, what I'm going to specifically talk about is waterfalls. And the waterfalls in the UP are spectacular, and many people choose to visit them during the summer when the temperatures are nicer. But I can tell you, as a native Uper, visit waterfalls in the Upper Peninsula during spring, specifically Canyon Falls in Barraga, Michigan. The reason for that is we just got done with winter. We just got done with a lot of snow. When that snow melts, it turns into water. And Canyon Falls in particular is a very narrow waterfall over kind of a gorge. So think about three to four feet, potentially up to six feet of snow melting in the spring and creating that waterfall. I can tell you the power is amazing. And this is a very, you can get right up to the river. You can really see the power. You can really experience, I think, something that you really would not see anywhere else in Michigan and really nowhere else in the Midwest, considering the amount of snowfall 
and the location specifically of that waterfall in the UP. If you do make that choice, by the way, come see me because if you take the side trail that nobody knows about, you can go farther down the gorge and go cliff diving. That's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Most people tend to visit the UP during our third season, which is summer. And this is where you will hear some specific activities, camping, boating, visiting the different festivals, those types of things. But I'm actually going to move off a little bit differently. Our third season for summer, even though it is the longest sunlight period in the UP, I'm specifically going to tell you, visit the UP in summer and go outside at night. Why is that? That is because of one, the stars, and two, the northern lights. Yes, the UP has northern lights, and while they do not rival the ones in Alaska, the northern lights are visible in the UP during winter from, in terms of location, any tiny country road. So, not in a specific location here, but I can tell you, mid-August, go down any country road in the middle of the night in the UP, and most likely you will have the ability to see northern lights across any wide expanse of field. It's an amazing experience. And whether or not there are northern lights, the stars are completely different than you'll see anywhere else in the state. Our third and final, I'm sorry, our fourth and final season is fall. And in this case, our specific activity, I will be generic, if you want to call it that, because I am going to focus on the colors, the trees. Lots of people know this, but yes, the color and the color tour in the UP is, no offense to anyone who lives in the Mitten, much better than it is downstate. <coughs> Specifically, however, I'm going to give you two choices in this case. Your season is fall, your activity is a color tour, but you have two options. If you'd like to do a driving tour, I recommend Rockway Mountain in Copper Harbor at the very top of the Upper Peninsula. Panoramic views of Lake Superior and color on one side, all the way to vast forests and basically no human habitation on the other side. If you want to walk, Silver Mountain, also outside of Erica, Michigan, is an excellent choice. It's actually an abandoned silver mine. You can walk right up to the mine entrance, even though it is blocked off. And if you're willing to foot the two miles up, you can get extremely wonderful, again, panoramic views of the color. I still, to this day, have a picture in my house of me as an eight-year-old kid, arms slung wide, on the edge of the cliff, and all you can see behind me is red, green, gold, all the colors of the fall. So there you go. You have four seasons, you have four activities, and you have four locations. I am putting out to you, please visit the Upper Peninsula, and you do not have to do it during early, mid, late, or next winter. Thank you. <laughs>